OK, so let's now put the structural support along the top of the trusses. So we're going to use the larger rectangular tube in the structural member. And we're going to click the free cross support section. Go to locate profile, click the base. And the, uh, the profile is still a little bit low, so let's go into the sketch again. It's not precisely where we want it. So into structural member, just find the profile, yes, find the template sketch, and there it is, let's offset the vertex, let's make it 30 mil. And it's auto offset, so it's brought it up and away from that base because we didn't want it to fall through. So, mold tools move face. I just want to extend this end section, so I'm using the move face option. And I want to slip both sides, but you can't do that because it. Put it exactly where I want to no, because it's two different sections. So let's come out of that. Let's try that again. Let's do each section individually. So 100 mil. I just wanted to extend past the edge. And now I'm going to trim back around. So I need to get rid of the excessive tubing or box section. So trim extend. So we've selected the bodies we want to get rid of. Selected the body in pink that we want to use to trim. Need to select the additional trim bodies. Okay, let's accept. Get rid of allow extension just because allowing extension can actually bring things up and add geometry that you don't want. So it's trimmed everything except the part that we wanted here. So let's get rid of the final extension allowance so it's trimmed these inner sections slightly differently from the end one let's go back in see where it went wrong And turn the allow extension feature for the trim bodies and that looks exactly how we wanted it to look so now we've got our top support and I think we can put a little gusset section underneath just to shore it up properly so let's make it 500 mil by 500 mil, so maybe 200. Okay, so our supporting faces, selecting them, and we've got it aligned central, but we could move it over either way. 
like so and we could offset it to the edge of the sketch if we wanted to but we're going to have it right in the middle so this would be a welded gusset going in just to add a little bit extra support Okay, so now we're finished with our gussets and now we'll come to the reason why so many of these profiles were offset from the lines right at the beginning. So if we go down to the bottom, so we're going to have our cross support that this whole truss section is going to sit on. So draw a section that our truss will be laid upon and we snap to the vertex in the corner. So the corner vertex sticks this part right underneath our previously drawn horizontal section. So we've used offsetting to our advantage. So click the vertex right in the corner, puts it, brings it all down and away. Select that. So there you can see. Just need to go to let's go to mold tools. Let's move those end faces. So this looks a little bit more respectable. Let's finish up by adding the world beads. So let's go to world bead in the world mints panel. First of all, let's turn on world beads so we can actually see them. So zoom in and go to the sections we want to weld. So click world section, click our first section, click our second section. We can't weld everything in one go, so we need to kind of build this up. So we've got our first visual weld. And then let's add our second. So picking the first set of faces. in the second set okay so now we can also we'll discuss it in place so select the faces and let's select, select our joining section and we're going to weld here and then we need to do the same again to the other section so the first set of faces and then our joining face and then we've got our weld bead so now let's just seal up the gap between the two main beams so selecting the two sections and we really want to continue this around 
so we might want to go back in and edit so let's just have a look change the angle here so it doesn't go all the way around so let's let's go and edit a 5mm world beat select the additional faces that are required and that looks a bit more like it And that's it, that's how you use the world bead feature. So let's just finish off by adding an end cap and then welding that end cap in place. Selecting our first set, then our mating section, 